All right, we're gonna do one more video downstairs. This is essentially a product of me being lazy and not taking my equipment upstairs from the last video. So one more down here. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of natural light thing going on. It's bright and airy in here, which my comfort zone is up there. And uh, so don't get used to this natural light stuff. <laughs> anyway. So I wanna talk about lurking as an INFP. Now again, this, this is putting my, I'm an INFP and this is putting myself on blast as well. So I have found in my searches on the internet, the definition of being a lurker is essentially an INFP who hides in the shadows <laughs> and doesn't wanna get noticed. I, it, it, that's what it says. The thing is with this whole thing is I completely get it. And it's, it, lurker sounds like it's a horrible thing, which it can be, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna try to put a positive spin on it and just, uh, just talk about, uh, okay. So many years that I consumed content before I started obviously making videos, I, I can, I hid in the back of the shadows. I'd watch a lot of videos from people I related to, things that inspired me. I consumed them from the, comfort of my own couch while I was eating a pack of Doritos. Um, and I would basically watch and leave. Uh, I wouldn't generally always leave a like. I wouldn't leave a comment, definitely. And that, that was the extent of my YouTube pre-creating days. It's something that still, even to this day, I, as a video creator, I do see uh, aspects of it that I do reach out more on other people's videos just to kind of give them that comment to know that there's somebody out there also. A lot of my videos have me highlighting the fact of how much I love, the comments are my favorite part of making video. From what you guys throw at me, I love the comments. And, and what I'm trying to convey essentially is that they, they mean more to me than you guys might know or can even understand if you're not making videos on this vulnerable platform or whatever. So when someone leaves a comment, and again, I'm not saying that you know you guys have to leave comments. I'm just trying to put in the fact that um, I get why you don't, and I also want to express my appreciation for the ones that do leave a comment. Um, I have individuals that are more consistent. They're there uh, time and time again, which I super, super appreciate that. Some comments get turned into massive novels and we just have a great time down there relating and talking and things like that. And it's really, even though the video is kind of a portion of throwing something out there, it, it also it goes deeper than that when you start going into the comments and some of the conversation that spin off it. And a lot of those comments I have, uh, they, they inspired me to make new videos. But with, so in, in social media, as a whole, I've said that I don't have all those social apps. I, I, the only social app I have other than YouTube is Facebook. Facebook is not something I use like ever. And not saying that Facebook's a bad thing, um, but there's a lot of stuff I'm not geared to share my private everyday life with the world. I don't, it, to me, it's very sacred and private and I don't want people necessarily know. Yes, and you're like, well, Sean, you're, you're on YouTube and you're putting all your stuff out there. No, I'm not putting all my stuff out there, but there are aspects that yes, I'm reaching out, I'm being vulnerable. So again, on Facebook, it's not, I'm not one of those people that's gonna share with you, uh, like if, if I have an emotional eating day and I run to Taco Bell and get some kind of family pack of tacos. Hey, good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you, what can I have for you today? Could I get one of those family packs? It's not really a family, it's just me. Yeah. Then why are you eating 12 tacos? A single person only gets three. A single person only gets three? Yeah, a single person only gets three, man. Well, not when you're having an emotional day. Those little cinnamon twists are pretty good too. I always throw those in there. But if, if I go run down there and I end up sitting on the toilet all night long because of that. I am not gonna immediately run to Facebook in the morning and say, hey guys, I I had a rough night. I had the sweats. <laughs> I had, it was it was bad. I'm not gonna share that with the world. It's not happening. It's, it's, it's not, it's no one's business. It's my business. That's where I don't use Facebook as a tool to share my life with the world. Cause again, I'm a, I'm a private type individual. I've lived in this house for 12 years and 
I've never really spoke to my neighbors more than, uh, you know, the, the hellos, going to the mailbox and things like that. I just, my home is my world and I just, that's what it is. So I'm not a neighborly, let's all go have a picnic at the neighbor's house. But that went off track. So in regards to laying a comment or feedback down here under my videos, again, it means, it means super more to me than I, like I said, that you may understand. And, and what I mean by that is that it's not, I went from, so not having the social media stuff to this YouTube in front of a video um, aspect, I, uh, I went from like zero to a hundred max <laughs> and it's extremely hard for me. I know you guys might look on this, me making these videos and be like, well, he just doesn't understand the vulnerability social aspect of things. Whatever's in your head, if you thought, if you think to yourself, about putting yourself in front of a video, that is still the stuff that's in my head to this day. And it's, I, yes, there's things about it that's getting easier the more I do it, but by no means does it all just go away. It's not ever gonna go away in my opinion. Things get easier and you can kind of sustain some of the stuff that's, you know, whatever in the beginning, but it's the stuff that's in your head is in my head. Um, it's very scary. It's, there's, there's temptations to, you know, take down videos uh, because it's like, uh oh, that's a little bit vulnerable. I shouldn't have showed that side of me. So there's a lot of those temptations. And again, people leaving comments, it's the same sort of aspect. It's when you lay a comment down, you're basically, you're essentially putting a piece, whether it's a video or not, it doesn't matter. If you say thank you, that's still putting yourself out there for the world to throw rocks at if they want to. I just spit off, I just spit off myself. That's so again, I totally get it and it's, I just want you guys to understand that it's not, it's not an obligation to put stuff down, but for me, I super appreciate when you guys do stand up, essentially, it feels like you're standing beside me when I, when I do put my pieces out there that are extremely vulnerable and personal to me. It's very lonely when you do that. My stuff is still out there for the rest of the people that I don't know who's watching and it has that, you know, all those negative things that could pop into your head and the stories that we can create in our head of the conspiracies that are probably not ever gonna happen, but they, they pop up there. And you know, uh, it's, just, it's just difficult. I'm sure you guys can imagine exactly what I'm saying. But so when, when someone does leave those pieces of themselves out there and basically just let me know that, okay, I threw some, even if on, it, I keep bouncing around. So when, even if I throw an email out there, when I uh, don't get a response from somebody, which is common, that makes my mind go crazy. Cause I'm just like, uh oh, <laughs> how, how do you, uh, how do you take that back? I need to figure out how to take that back in an email because I obviously did something wrong cause no one said anything. <laughs> when you lay a comment down for something that I feel so personal to myself with this creative outlet, it really means more to me. Cause it, you're, you're standing, you're essentially standing by me and saying, hello, I'm watching or, Whatever it might be, you're just letting me know that I am not some weird person talking to myself in front of a camera and uh, that's all there is. So again, it's not expected of everyone to do that, but I just want you guys to know if you find other content creators, that something really inspires you. And again, that's, I am doing that more often around the community. You'll probably see me in the comment area and things like that. But as before I literally started making YouTubes, I wasn't laying anything down because I'm like, I ain't putting myself out there for no one to attack. That ain't happening. <laughs> In Z formation. <laughs> so, but it's just the simple things. Even if it's a thank you, like that to me, you don't have to, I don't want to say you have to say thank you. You can say whatever you want. It's just, it's helping me feel not alone, which I guess is selfish. Um, but I don't know how to explain this better. <laughs> and, and also too, I'm, I, I am known to be an extremely responsive person. And the reason for that, it, which being a very responsive person, you know, when I get an email, a text message, you're gonna get a text from me or email pretty quick. And on here on YouTube, I do try to answer the comments as quickly as I can. And that is a product of me just knowing how it feels to be me and my, how, what my mind does. Cause when I throw something out there and I don't hear anything from somebody and people have lives, they have things they're doing. It doesn't mean they're ignoring you. They just, they have natural lives. But for me, I just see it as I can respond to this person and not really leave them hanging because I, I want to suppress, especially a like-minded type individual. I want to basically stop their mind from conjuring up all these crazy stories because that's what we are capable of doing. I know, I, I mean, I know for instance, that's what I, that's what I do all the time. So, uh, summing it all up, going into the lurker world of we're not 
in some natural cheer squad niche community. It's a very more private, uh, we like to consume, we like to be inspired, but we also don't wanna put little pieces out of there ourselves because again, how precious we take it as. And it's just, we, we protect all our, you know, internal values and things with a heavy border. And that also creates a lot of, uh, a lot of bad issues can come from that. If you just, if you really suppress yourself and just hold it all in and just protect it and you don't share all that the world, um, you and the world can be missing out on good things. You're not obligated, don't feel obligated, don't feel pressured, just understand that I understand. But I also extra, extra, extra appreciate when a like is on there or whatever. It's just even, even the likes, and this is not going, I don't know how to make this sound like I'm just shooting for numbers and likes and all that stuff, because I'm not. It's not that, and hopefully you guys understand that for me, I'm not, it shows me that someone's standing by my side essentially, and it really helps me out mentally uh, to keep going and stay motivated and just not have all the cricket sessions of, uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I should just shut all this down and go move over and find some origami crafts I could like bust out. I, I don't know, I just, so that's, that's all I essentially wanted to share. Man, it got like really dark outside. I didn't even, I didn't, sorry about that if the video looked all weird cause it was like bright in the beginning and then I got all this cloud stuff from the rain. Anyway, you don't have to listen to all that. So let me, guys, let me know what you guys think about that vulnerability stuff and just being a lurker. If you're a lurker, I'm a lurker, I'm still a lurker. But just, just understand the other side of it. If you can actually just support uh, those people that you might see a video and you really like it, just the simplest things really help those people out, especially like-minded types of us that are putting themselves out there and their vulnerability. Um, it just, it's very comforting, I know personally. It's super comforting and motivating to hear more of people that actually feel what you're putting down. And it's a motivator to keep going kind of thing. So I'm not shutting any of this down. I'm not like on the last edge. Of I'm running, it, like it's not, I'm still into this stuff. I'm, I'm having fun. I just hope to catch you guys in the comments, see you guys' opinion of the whole lurker thing. Don't look at it as a bad term. It sounds bad, but just, uh, I don't know. I'm trying, I gotta hold myself accountable and lurk less. So that's kind of also what I'm doing here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching.